Hey everyone, welcome to Mythology Explained. In today's video, we are going to discuss the Lamassu, spirits who functioned as protectors and guardians in ancient Mesopotamia. They aren't a direct antecedent of the angels found in the Abrahamic religions, but there are certainly several parallels to be drawn, namely, having wings, functioning as the protectors of humanity, being spiritual entities who serve the gods, and possessing the ability to move between worlds, specifically the realm of mortality and the realm of divinity. And to start us off, here's a passage from the Assyrian winged bull. The image of the Assyrian winged bull or lion is one of the most familiar and enduring symbols of the ancient Near East. These protective spirits were typically placed at the entrances of important buildings such as palaces, temples, and other significant structures to serve as guardians. The Lamassu, as they were known, were associated with the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamian mythology and were believed to possess the power to protect people and their property from harm. They were often depicted in ancient art as powerful winged creatures with a human head and the body of a bull or lion conveying their ability to move between the earthly and spiritual realms, and to serve as protectors and guides for those who invoke their power. The Lamassu are composite creatures of Mesopotamian mythology, and their origins can be traced back to the late 4th century BC. While it is difficult to determine exactly which ancient Mesopotamian culture first engendered the Lamassu, it is generally believed that the Sumerians played a significant role in their development. The Sumerians were known for their complex religious beliefs and mythologies, which included a variety of supernatural beings and deities. These beliefs were later adopted and adapted by subsequent cultures in the region, including the Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians, who all contributed to the development and evolution of the Lamassu. Today, the oldest known depiction of a Lamassu recovered through archaeology is the Uruk vase, which dates back to the early Sumerian period, circa 3300 to 3000 BC. The Uruk vase depicts a Lamassu with the body of a bull, the wings of a bird, and the head of a bearded man. The carving is highly detailed, with intricate depictions of the Lamassu's muscles, feathers, and clothing. Lamassu were believed to serve as protective spirits, and were often placed at entrances of important buildings such as palaces, temples, and other significant structures, where they stood as stalwart sentinels, they were associated with the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamian mythology, and were believed to possess the power to protect people and their property from harm. Lamassu were also viewed as symbols of power and authority. In Mesopotamian art and architecture, they were often depicted alongside kings and other important figures as a symbol of their divine right to rule. This association with power and authority was reinforced by their imposing size and their fierce, muscular bodies. Lamassu were also associated with the concept of the divine, and were believed to be able to move between the earthly and spiritual realms. This ability to move between realms made them important in religious rituals and ceremonies, and they were often invoked as protectors of those who participated in these rituals. One of the most famous myths involving a Lamassu is the Epic of Gilgamesh. In this myth, the Lamassu is depicted as a powerful, winged creature that serves as a protective spirit for the city of Uruk. When the king, Gilgamesh, sets out on a quest to find immortality, the Lamassu appears to him in a dream and warns him of the dangers that lie ahead. Despite the Lamassu's warning, Gilgamesh continues on his quest and faces numerous challenges and trials along the way. In the end, he is unable to achieve immortality and returns to his kingdom in defeat. And that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.